Hey everyone, I just got to the Jerry's Artorama store in Dallas and I'm going to try to show you around quietly and not be too obnoxious <laughs> for any other patrons that are here. But it's got some of the largest selections of things I've seen. So I'm going to flip you around, show you around, and I'll try to look at your comments if I can. Okay, here's paper. Uh -huh. This isn't even all the paper. Um, let's see. A couple things I wanted to show you. Well, this is mixed media, which works. So it works for what we do. But one of my latest favorite things is the acrylic paper. Because, let's see if I can find it. You don't have to um, gesso it. And it's Strathmore, so it's this brown... It's the Strathmore Best. See how it says best? Strathmore is the yellow. Pack, the uh, pads are better, C Series 300, and the brown ones are best. See, it says best Series 400. So let me just see if I can find you the acrylic paper. It's probably, it might be over here with the watercolor paper. See, there's the same thing in watercolor paper. And I use the yellow a lot. I mean, you don't have to get the better. The only reason I just haven't found the acrylic paper, uh, we'll find it later. But look at all this watercolor paper. This is a great um, studio grade, inexpensive watercolor paper, this Fabriano. Uh, and I am gonna put some of these supplies. Actually, I'm making a big supply list. Um, for the website for, with some of this. I think I'm gonna try one of these. So this is an inexpensive sketchbook because I need another sketchbook, not, but it's watercolor and I like square. I like this small square size and it's only 833. And the reflections is okay. It's fine, especially because I'm gonna gesso it and paint on top of it and, hi Sherry. Um, so, all right, so that's, and then there's this whole rack of the Fabriano sketchbooks. Oh gosh, and then these are the handbook. I have one of these in the watercolor. I have this one. This is the one I use as my floral sketchbook. Um, yeah, this is all books and paper here. Oh, wait till you see the paints. I don't think there's anything else here that we need to look at. Well, of course there is. <laughs> All the pencils and the pens. Let's see, these are fun. The Tombos, uh, they are watercolor markers, basically. And you can, you know, draw with them and then add water and move it around. So they're actually good for travel just like the Neo Color 2 crayons are. Water soluble. And let's see, these are all drawing pencils. I think around the corner are colored pencils. Let's see if I see any Stabilos. Holbein oil pastels. Yeah, here they are. Neo Color One and Neo Color Two. So the Neo Color One are a permanent wax pastel. I don't think I have any of these. I have the twos because I like them to be water soluble, but you know I'm gonna try these at some point. And these are the Mungios that I that I love. these oil pastels. So yummy. I've tried, uh, no, I have not tried that. Paintings, painting sticks. There's so many things to try. Mungyo Mung makes the soft pastels. I have not tried those. And these are the water soluble. I have some colors of these 
water soluble pencils. Hey, Mary Beth. I'm at Jerry's Artorama in Dallas trying to be quiet because it's not very crowded and I don't, you know, want to bother people. But I wanted to show you guys around. Create a color. Oh, yeah, I did try. I, I didn't. These didn't do much for me. All right, let's go find the paint. You're going to die when you see the paint. They have the biggest selection of the Turner Acro Gouache colors that I think I've ever seen, you know, except online. These are brushes. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I'm designing my own line of brushes, which I'm very excited about because then I can get the shape and the size and the quality I want. Okay, so this is the watercolor aisle. And I didn't even, I have not seen this before, that Turner makes watercolors. I might have to try a couple. I do love, for watercolor, I do love Winsor Newton and Daniel Smith, these two brands. Um, I'm sure Holbein's watercolor, yeah, I have some of those too, they're good. And then the gouache, and the reason that the gouache is on the watercolor aisle is because regular gouache is a watercolor, meaning it's not permanent. So you have the Holbein designer gouache, look at these colors, and then the Winsor Newton designer's gouache, which is, the, these both are so yummy. And then the Turner, which is very, very good and cheaper. And, um, but the Acro gouache, which I use a lot, is on the acrylic aisle because it really is an acrylic paint. It's really an acrylic matte paint. These are panels. I love painting on these panels. This is the Da Vinci brand. And it comes in all kinds of like, this is like a meat, this is a medium textured gesso panel. So it's already gessoed and textured. And they, I'm sure a lot of you have seen these kinds of things. And this is the plain birch without the gesso, but I always gesso them. So I either gesso them myself or buy them gessoed, but they're fun to paint on. These are inks. I do play with ink. I pick up, you know, a couple in my favorite colors and use it usually at the lower layers. Okay, here is, look at this display of Turner Acro Gouache. I've never, that's easily two to three times the colors um, that you see at a store usually. It's crazy, right? Hey, Anne. So they come in the smaller bottles, which the tubes, which I actually like for um, travel. And then if I use a lot of a color, I'll get the big one. These, the, I think it's 40, 40 ml. So I get that in the white and, you know, maybe yellow co colors I'll use a lot. I've tried a few of these. I really like, these are their pastel. See how it says pastel there? But, you know, like I say all the time, you don't need many colors. This is just fun. Sometimes I pick up a color just for fun, but it's really better to do color mixing. There are some colors, though, you just can't mix, like... Uh, I always talk about, you know, a hot pink like that. Can't mix that. Uh, opera red, you know, these really bright colors. You really have to buy them. Oh, look at these. Oh, I haven't seen these. What are these? They're beyond metal or metallic. I gotta put my glasses on. Hey, Star. <clears throat> these are crystal. Okay. What, they're, they're super metallic. I'm going to have to try. I do like my gold, but look. Oh, I'm definitely going to have to try one of these. <laughs> I don't want too much of it, but I'll get one color. What color should I get? I kind of like this greenish color. Let's try that. 
and so they have the pearl colors. I don't really fuss with that a lot, but it, I'm sure it would be fun. And then here are the fluorescents. And then I've tried these Japanese. Um, so they're a little more grainy and textured, but I don't know, a little bit... They kind of feel difficult to work with. So I haven't done too much with them, but it could be just that I need to make some adjustments. All right, so that's the turner. And then, let's see. Do they have any other acro gouache? Mm, yeah, they do. They have the Liquitex. I'll show you that. Um, these are the mediums. I'm going to put this on my supply list, this two of these. This is the Liquitex Ultra Matte Medium that you can add to like the Nova Color Acrylic or any acrylic and make it more matte. And then the Slow Dry that I showed you last time. Where is that? Here it is. Slow Dry, just to give yourself a little more painting time. Hey, Brooke. And these are the regular Liquitex Acrylics. Of course, Nova Color is not here because it's not carried in stores. That's where I have that um, bundle. It's online. Here's the Acro Gouache of the Liquitex. And it's good. It is. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I don't find it as matte or as chalky as, as the Turner um, or the Holbein. I don't think they have the whole vein acro gouache here. I haven't seen it. They have it at Blick. All right, let's see what else we can find. I'm glad you guys could steal a few moments and come with me. I wish I could shop for you and send it to you. That's whole vein acrylic. These are going to be all acrylics. Oh yeah, this is a really soup. This is a lot of colors too. This is a very, very matte. Um, acrylic paint that Golden created. I think only about, I don't know, I'm not going to say. It's probably, I'll probably get the date wrong, but it's not, it's not that long ago. And they are super intense. They're fun. Oh, these. I'm definitely going to get, you've seen me use these um, liners, Sennelier liner. I have the hot pink and I have an off-white. I think I'm going to have to pick up, oh yeah, probably pick up a turquoise. Hey Susan, glad you could join us. I'm at the Jerry's Artorama in Dallas, showing you guys around. Um, oh, a gold. Oh, that's a find. I'll do a YouTube video of these new supplies so you can see. Although, you know, I need supplies like I need a hole in the head. <clears throat> and we're traveling. <laughs> My, my my suitcase already weighed the 50 pounds. This will crack you up. I got to turn you around and tell you this. So I'm at the airport. I've got so much paint in my suitcase that it's over the 50 pounds. <laughs> so I'm like in front of everyone. I had to unzip it, pull out bags of paint, put them in my backpack so I would make the weight limit. So I should not be buying anything. I'll have to stick more in my backpack. Okay. These are golden acrylics, wonderful acrylics on the pricey side, but wonderful. Let's see what else there is here. These are oils, which I have some I've been playing with. Um, and I'll do, I'll do a class at some point on these, but the ones that I like, because you can use water, are the, where are they? Here they are. Wa the Windsor Newton water mixable oil so you can clean your brushes with water it's still an oil paint they've just modified the um, they just modified it like chemically so that you can rinse with water and the colors are yummy the only thing is it takes a long time to dry like you know oils do Let's see, what else? Oh, look at this. These are big rolls of canvas. Nice. Frames. 
canvases. Is there anything else you guys want to see? Hi, Anila or Anila. Um, it doesn't show me your comments. It just shows me that you've joined. So let's see if there's anything I've left out. I don't, where are the Posca pens? They usually have their own case. Let's go over here and see. Maybe over here? No, these look like pastels. I would think they'd be here because this is where the markers are, but maybe the store doesn't have them. Oh, the young shopper. <laughs> all right, I think I've shown you pretty much all of the yummy stuff. Okay, go paint now. Bye.